Um, I work in the construction industry as a chartered engineer, and I've noticed recently, it's only in the last year, I suppose, that the SDGs are getting traction in that, that area in, in business, in the professional world. Um, but one misconception that I often come across speaking to companies and prof professional institutes as well is that the SDGs are all about um, the development sector, or they're all about the global south, developing countries, poverty, whatever, you know. Um, if you look at one of our main projects is about SDG 11, which is all about sustainable communities, sustainable cities. Under that goal, goal 11, there are 12 targets. So if you look around those targets, you'll see things like adequate, safe and affordable housing with basic services, transport systems, air quality, access to green spaces. Um, these are all issues that have arisen on the social and political agenda in Ireland over the last few years. So. These are global issues. It's not restricted to you know a geographic area on the planet. It's something that affects everyone. Um, and if you're talking about resilience and sustainable communities, you also have to look at the other goals. Um, it's not just about housing. It's not just about those other issues. It's also about climate action. The government uh, published their climate action plan recently. It's also about access to healthcare, education, uh, water, energy, um, innovation, and industry. So everything here is relevant to Ireland as much as it is to Zambia and Nepal or wherever. Um, these particular goals, we focus a lot of our programs on these because we feel these are areas engineers can really impact on. Um, and a big one for us as well is, is partnership. Um, as Andrew, you'll see in his talk as well, it's not all about governments, the United Nations, um, massive aid agencies with multi-billion dollar uh, budgets. Um, the goals go through all sectors of society. It's just as much up to individuals and communities to contribute to them. Um, the private sector has a huge role to play in it. Um, sustainability has now gone mainstream. It used to be pretty niche with businesses. Um, so not just through their business strategies, but through corporate social responsibility as well. Um, and we're very lucky in this country, by and large, for all its problems, if you want to become an engineer, if you want to become a scientist, there are ways to do it. We have access to education, and that brings an ethical uh, responsibility as well to pass those skills and knowledge forward to other communities. Um, it's about building capacity and allowing individuals and communities to take control of their own development and not just rely on aid. Um, so that's it. It's up to everyone to get involved in it. You'll see from Andrew and Olivia's presentations, what real community development is about, what real capacity building and innovation is about. That's another word that sort of lost its meaning a bit in industry, is innovation. Um, but this is real innovation you'll see tonight. So we're delighted that we have them along. Um, they're both literally on flying visits um, and have taken, taken the time out to be with us here tonight. One last thing is you may, some of you will recognize Billy Holland. He's a professional rugby player with Munster Rugby. He's also on our board of directors. He has been for a few years. Um, so he set up, he was on the Late Late Show a few weeks ago speaking about this. He set up a fund for uh, children's hospitals in memory of his daughter Emily and him and his wife set it up, uh, who tragically passed away last year. So all, you'll see on the event bright page, we had a donation option. All uh, proceeds from tonight are going to these funds to help uh, provide services in our ladies' hospital in Crumlin, Cork University Hospital in Ronald McDonald House. Um, so that's really it for me. I'll be back later on. We've got two outstanding speakers with us tonight. Hope you really enjoy it. Um, I'll be back later on just to give a round up of what EWB are doing in this area. Um, so between now and then, uh, I'm going to hand you over to our program manager, Emma, who will introduce the speakers. Thank you very much.